This is a very interesting and in fact the most important question of the chapter pair of straight lines. This involves the homogenization concept. We have to prove that the lines joining origin to the points of intersection of this line with this curve, these two lines are at right angles. So, for solving this problem, let us first have a look at what is homogenization concept. The question says that there is a curve and there is a straight line which is cutting this curve at two points, let us say A and B. The two lines which are joining origin to the points of intersection of this line and the curve we want to prove that these two lines are at 90 degree. For this, we homogenize the curve 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 2x minus 4y minus 8 equals 0 using the line 3x minus y equals 2. In homogenization, what we see is this is x square term which is having 2 degree, this is x y term which is also having 1 plus 1 equals 2 degree and this is y square terms which is also having 2 degrees. But here we can see x term which is having only 1 degree, there is a y term which is also having a 1 degree and there is a constant which is not having any degree. So, we try to provide degrees to all these 3 terms in order to make this whole equation homogenized or having the same degree. Now, we can see 3x minus y equals 2. So, 3x minus y upon 2 equals 1. We can rewrite this equation as 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 2x into 1 minus 4y into 1 minus 8 into 1 square equals 0. We have done it we have multiplied the x term with 1, the y with a 1 and 8 with 1 square. In order to provide it 1 degree, it it as 1 degree and we have to provide this constant with 2 degrees. So, we have multiplied it with 1 square. Now, we will supply the value of 1 to each of these terms. We have got the value of 1 as 3x minus y upon 2. So, we get 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 2x into 1 which is 3x minus y upon 2 minus 4y into 1 which is again 3x minus y upon 2 minus 8 times 1 square which is 3x minus y upon 2 whole square equals 0. Now, we can clearly see this 3x minus y term, this has provided a degree to this x term which was having only 1 degree. This 3x minus y term has provided 1 degree to the y which was having only 1 degree and this 3x minus y whole square has provided 2 degrees to the constant term which was earlier having no degree. So, we can rewrite this whole equation and on solving and rearranging the terms, we would get minus 8x square plus xy plus 8y square equals 0. Now, as we did earlier, if ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals 0 represented a pair of straight lines, then the angle between these two lines was given by tan theta equals 2 under root h square minus ab upon a plus b and if the two lines represented by this equation are perpendicular to each other, this means angle theta equals 90 degree which makes tan theta equals infinity. So, the denominator of this term will get equal to 0 in order to make the two lines perpendicular to each other. a was the coefficient of x square, b was the coefficient of y square. Here we can see coefficient of x square equals minus 8 and coefficient of y square equals plus 8. We can clearly see their sum is equal to 0. So, the two lines which are represented by this equation 
are perpendicular to each other. This is a very important concept known as homogenization concept which would be very useful in the forthcoming chapters.